<laughs> Alright. Barn Stormers happens to be my favorite flat ride out there. The SNS, uh, what are they called again? Scream and Swing. <laughs> Scream and Swing. <laughs> What are you most excited about? Cinnamon bread? Cinnamon bread? <laughs> what about you, Apex? Lightning rod. First Lightning scene. rod? Okay, me too. Although I'm really excited for Mystery Mine and my terrible driving. We just cut someone off, but that's okay, we're Canadian. <laughs> what about you, America? Behind the camera? Oh, lightning rod, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Dollywood Express. You know, I was kind of hoping there'd be a Starbucks like right here on the way, but it doesn't look like we're gonna get that opportunity. I know, same. Do we arrive 30 minutes early, or do we go get Starbucks? Uh, Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> Starbucks? Yeah. <laughs> Turn around this boat. <laughs> I was trying to zoom in. <laughs> on what? The mountain. What are you trying to zoom in on? <laughs> the mountain. I love oh me. Oh my god. I love the me. what mountain? <laughs> the, one the, the one in the back. The one in the back's nice. But like, yeah. you're like looking over there at motels. I'm like. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Amusement Insiders. Today we're going to be exploring all the great motels in the area. Um, we happen to be staying at one of them actually, and uh, we'll be buying a black light because we're kind of oh, creeped out by that. Is that, that's the thing where they drop you into a net? No. It is not a scat tower net. Why is it so ugly? I don't know. It looks like a crane. I think it's a bungee jumping tower. Oh, it looks, yeah, it looks like a crane that they turn into a sky tower. Can you imagine us in an escape room? Oh, we didn't do it. Oh, it's yet. under construction, that's why. Can you imagine us in an escape room? It's almost like you've done an escape room. Yes. <laughs> now I feel like a terrible person. I just judge something that's not even complete. I'm gonna get dragged. Oh my god, Yukon Striker theming. That's actually not that funny. I'm not gonna check that. That's not that funny. <laughs> Oh, that really is the Yukon Striker theme, or the signage. Wow. Yeah. So there's a bunch of, that, is that one of those like playgrounds they're building? Because that actually looks pretty cool. Wow, Canada's really invading here. It's gorgeous though, eh? There's a fire truck for sale back there. Oh. <laughs> Anyone need a fire truck? Fire chaser? Sadra, you need any extra help? <laughs> Hi, okay, so my friend for some reason doesn't need caffeine in the morning, but can I get a tall uh, hot chocolate? Tall oh, hot chocolate? Yeah, yes please. And then I need a large sugar-free vanilla Almond milk iced coffee, please. Uh, almond milk, please. Almond beverage. Um, and then. What size? Are you a kid? <laughs> I'm kidding. What's a medium size? <laughs> Can I get a tall vanilla creme frappuccino? Oh, with coffee? No coffee. A vanilla creme frappuccino? Without coffee. Uh, without coffee, please. Without coffee. What else? Just favorite. Coffee. Yeah. And a tall coffee frappuccino. Mm. Are you filming me drink? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Go Can on. I not have a moment of privacy to like eat and like wake up? <laughs> no. <laughs> so you're about to take me on lightning rod. By the way, we'll get the on ride photo because uh, yeah, I don't handle rides well. But neither do you. No. <laughs>
<laughs> oh my god. That's gonna be fun. I the dead bugs. I see now wired to get the smoke for me. That's literally dead bugs. Yeah, literally you're filming the mountain it's beautiful, but our uh, our windshield's covered in dead bugs. So I don't know how great this footage is gonna turn out. No. Dollywood's got it together. They have a like, tram system. They have a tram oh, system, right. it's beautiful. I like the white picket fence. Now I will give it a parking lot, it's very, very awkward. I'm okay with that. It's parking lot. We're, we're just here to park our cars. Alrighty, so we're finally here at Dollywood. I've been waiting for this like my entire life it seems um, and I couldn't be more excited. So honestly what I'm looking forward to most is definitely lightning rod. I think all of you already know that. The cinnamon bread's up there as well. I'm hearing that I'm absolutely going to love Thunderhead. Um, but what I'm really hoping for is Mystery Mine. I'm hearing it's been down since the park's open, so I'm a little nervous. Um, but I have a feeling that we will get on it, fingers crossed. But so far this park has blown me absolutely away. And we haven't even entered the park yet. Um, the customer service has been absolutely amazing. Um, this is unmatched to any other park I've been to. Well, I'm all righty we just got off of lightning rod our first ride ever second rmc ever and boy was that thing amazing the quad down really threw me um, for a surprise. I wasn't expecting, everyone told me it was gonna happen. Obviously I knew it was gonna happen. We've seen POVs and all that, but it's absolutely amazing when you get on it. Um, I have to say, uh, you're gonna get a whole review of Dollywood. I'm beyond blown away. I have to say a huge thank you to Amber uh, for giving us a behind the scenes or like VIP tour of the rides and coasters. Super appreciative. Um, definitely so far my second best coaster in the world that I've ridden. Um, I will say that I think Seal Vengeance is a little bit ahead of it, um, but in terms of it, it's pretty close. I, I would put the two pretty uh, side by side, but Seal Vengeance has got that extra little edge to it that this is just uh, missing. If it was maybe slightly longer, I could see them competing pretty well, but Lightning Rod is definitely ranking as one of my uh, top coasters I've been on, and we're definitely gonna get a rain ride. We're lucky today. We've been told to get on Lightning Rod while it's raining, and uh, it looks like we're gonna have that opportunity. So we will be back to give you a review after we go on it in the rain. But for now, this coaster, I'm still in utter shock. I'm gonna put a picture in this video of my on-ride reaction. Um, it's gonna be quite embarrassing, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Awesome, stay tuned. All right, so as you're gonna see in our footage, Dollywood is one of the most immersive experiences that I've experienced at a theme park yet. Now that's excluding Universal Studios and Disney World, but for a theme park that's regional, this is beyond impressive. I'm blown away by some of the theming we're seeing, and this is just an example. Behind me is Barnstormers, a flat ride, a thrill ride that most of your local parks have, but are plug and place just as basic attractions. This takes it to the whole next level with theming. Are you making me do this? Keep recording. <laughs> All right. Barnstormers happens to be my favorite flat ride out there. The SNS, uh, what are they called again? Scream and swing. <laughs> Scream and swing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> We're gonna oh have my bloopers. God. <laughs> 